Hello to you all over the world. My name is John Marine, and in this video I'd like to talk about black college football and my own experiences. This is my first real video that I'd like to share with you all. So finally I have some of this new content that I've been wanting to try to get across. So here I am to talk about black college football as much as I know about it. You'll agree with me, you'll disagree with me, but I would really appreciate if you just hear me out. Okay. Now, what I like about black college football is that it's always competitive. You know, it's hard-nosed, mostly South football, and even the Battle of the Bands is impressive. You know, where else is Battle of the Bands could be just as important as winning the game? Sure, victories are counted on wins and losses and what you do on the football field, but really, really, Battle of the Bands can be just as expressive and just as competitive as the game itself. Sometimes the game is an absolute blowout, and the only thing that gets you really excited again is the Battle of the Bands. And that's even if, say, Savannah State gets creamed by some other team, which is quite common. <laughs> Now, what have I liked most about it? Well, that's what I've liked most about it. Basically, the experience, the the football, the Battle of the Bands. There's even the Battle of the Bands presented by Honda, usually held in Atlanta, Georgia, which pitched some of the best um, schools, the best school bands out there. Only band I can really recall is the the Jacksonville State so Sonic Boom of the South. I, I believe it's Jackson State that has that's the Sonic Movement of the South. <coughs> Do I have any favorite colleges? Black colleges, that is? Well, I have some favorites. So I have some favorite HBCUs. For those of you who aren't familiar with HBCU and what it means, <coughs> HBCU normally stands for Historically Black Colleges and Universities, schools that were founded as black institutions. One of the ones I truly respect is Tuskegee in Division Two. They have a very good football team. In FCS, I normally like Hampton, which I think is the best black college in almost all college sports in NCAA. And I'm usually impartial to the SWAC because Texas Southern University is here in Houston, Texas, and I tend to follow the SWAC a little bit as far as black colleges go. And really, I also, I, I have some family who attended Prairie View A&M and graduated from Prairie View A&M. So I follow them as well. And I also follow the Southern Jaguars in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But if there's anything that you, you ever get excited about in college, it's rivalries. You know you want to send a message to that other school you hate so much. Whether you're a football team, a basketball team, whatever kind of sport you play, there's somebody you hate. And you want to send a message to that school and to those people and those teammates. What better way to send your message than with a good old-fashioned rivalry? Yeah, put up your dukes, fool. What's up? <laughs> now, there's two rivalries I normally follow. One of the good ones is the Labor Day Classic between Perry Prairie View A&M and Texas Southern University. It's where the Prairie View A&M Panthers and the Texas Southern Tigers usually clash, and they often clash nowadays at, at Reliance Stadium. And that's really Texas's only two NCAA black colleges. And those are the ones who compete in uh, Division FCS, formerly Division I AA. And there's also another one that I follow is the Bayou Classic, which is the best between two Louisiana schools, usually the Grambling State Tigers and the Southern Jaguars. I usually regard Southern in this match because I have some links to Southern, and I think Southern is a very good football team. <coughs> so having said all of this, oh, and there's one more school that I really respect, and that's Florida A&M. And that's the only school that has won, only black school that has won the national championship in FCS. 
They did this back against Massachusetts in 1978. I wouldn't be born until five years later. So if you ever get a chance to check out the Black College Football Experience, be sure to check it out because it's a great experience and I'm sure you'll love it. If you love college football, if you love Battle of the Bands, if you love a distinctive southern flavor to things. There was even a football game released last year. It has a verse of the voice of Jonathan Coachman, who's now on ESPN News. Well, thank you very much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed the Black College Football Experience. May God bless you, and have an amazing day.